Kieran, welcome to Bradford City. Agreed uh, to sign on a two and a half year deal uh, from the 1st of January. How does it feel to be here first and foremost? Yeah, it's great. It's, it's a massive club. Uh, hopefully I can be a, be a part of it, part of the history. And uh, just been here, obviously, looking over my shoulder here. It's a, it's a massive stadium and I can't wait, can't wait to get going. Not your first visit to Valley Parade. You've been here for a couple of games already, but to be here at pitch level, looking at the pitch and looking at the stands on an evening like this, it must be special and, and you can't wait to get going. Yeah, like you said, I've I've, I've witnessed the atmosphere of, of a big game already, and, and it's, it's amazing that the fans are right behind the club, and I can't wait to be on the pitch and looking up and trying to do them proud as well. Bring us up to date with your career so far. What do people not know about Kieran Kelly? Yeah, I've, I've been in the League of Ireland for uh, four or five years now. Um, I've had success at the clubs I've been. I've I've obviously uh, I've been in in finals and and big games in Europe, but. Obviously, I'm coming here to stand my authority on, on the English League, and, and that's what I hope to do. I understand there were offers from elsewhere as well. What was it about Bradford City that drew you to the club and made you want to come and play here? Yeah, obviously, I was in, I was invited over, and, and I've seen the place, uh, the stadium, the manager, everything about the club. I've seen the training ground facilities that are amazing, they're top tier, and uh, I just wanted to be a part of it. You talk about the manager, how much did he play a part in the move, Mark Hughes? Yeah, like Mark Hughes, he's a massive name. Like it's that's, that's someone you want to play under. I'm sure he'll be very uh, influential on me, and I can't wait to work under. In terms of a player, we know you're a left-sided centre back. But tell us a little bit more about yourself. What's your game about? Um, so I play obviously centre back, but I like to play out from the back. But uh, I'm not afraid of putting in a hard challenge when it needs to be as well. So I like to defend the side. That's the first and foremost. But I like to pick a pass as well. You're 24 now, as we mentioned, played in Ireland up to this point. Why did you feel moving to England, moving to Bradford City at this stage of your career was, was the right move for you? I just think it's another another step above uh, League of Ireland and I always want to challenge myself and, and I've seen Bradford as, as the next step and hopefully I can achieve great things here and, and push on. You've been made aware of the kind of goals, no doubt. You're not here for a sort of short-term period of time initially on the contract that you're going to be signing. How much are you invested in those goals, those targets as a club, as a collective moving forward? How desperate are you to come here and not just make up the numbers to, to succeed? Yeah, massively. Like this club belongs up in the up in the top tiers, and hopefully, me coming in, I can I can help the team achieve the, their goals and, and my own personal goals as well. What does the next month or so look like for you? Then we know you're going to start training with your new teammates before the sort of January the first kicks in, but training up until that January the 1st when you officially become a Bradford City player and then I guess it's a case of wanting to stamp your authority and get yourself into that team. Yeah, like you said, the League of Ireland uh, finished about a month ago, so I'm in my pre-season now, so once I get on the pitch I'll, I'll put my head down and work hard and hopefully when the 1st January comes I'll, I'll uh, try to fight for my place in the team and, and help the team out.